Hello everyone and welcome back to Winders Model Farms. Today we're going to be taking a look at this um, combine made by Ertl. It is a John Deere 9610 and um, I was about to say new toy but it's not really a new toy. It's just kind of a um, update of an old casting and they've made some changes so um, we're going to take this out of the package Take a look at it. It is replica play. Would have loved to see a prestige version of this, but um, this is what we got. So first the box, pretty cool 9610 right there. Um, I love the duels on that combine. I really wish this toy would have come just like that picture. That would have been awesome. We may do a custom, who knows. Um, here we go, another picture. Again, love the tire setup there. This one does have GPS guidance on that. Um, we may do that too on this one. We may custom it. And there is the last picture. So um, that is what you get. And we'll go ahead and get this thing open. Alrighty, so first thing, what you'll notice is the corn head is pretty much the exact same 12 row corn head that's been around for a while. This is the little bit older style. Um, the newer one has a slightly different look on the end. Um, the one that comes with like the S series combines, but this is pretty much the same header that comes with um, all the old bullet rotor combines and stuff, I believe. Um, 12 row header, been out a long time. From Ertl, I would have loved to get an eight row with this combine, but who knows? We've got some custom eight rows we could put on it. And then the world's worst header, um, 30 foot Draper Ertl makes for these deer combines that have come on Pretty much everything except for the Authentics S690 and then the X9s have a new Draper finally. But yeah, we've still got this old thing and it looks ugly. All right, so on to the combine. Um, oops, I just pulled the sticker off. So what they've done is pretty much taken these old... Um, castings here which this one's missing the unload auger this is in pretty poor shape uh, this is in our project bucket maybe one day we'll get some new paint new stickers and new decal but pretty much took these and um, used that casting but the main big update which is pretty cool is new um, cab so they've gone to a clear cab which is very exciting um, and taking a look in there looks really good i love the steering wheel you can see they did a pretty good job on that steering wheel one thing that would have been nice is if they would have cut a hole in the grain tank here see in the back of the cab they've got the spot where the window would be um, to look into your grain tank but they did not do that um, so that could have been something cool that they could have done but it is 9610 maximizer decals are pretty good um they still kind of and it's just tough with the way the shape of this machine it's tough to get those decals in there all perfectly lined up and without them peeling so that, that is a little challenging but they look all right um the rear uh, that's a little messed up our decals aren't centered um you can kind of see Neither is the triangle on this old one, but yeah, our deer decals a little to the left, our slow moving vehicle triangle is a little off center to the right. So that's a little disappointing, but I may be able to fix that myself. Our unload auger is plastic. Um, it appears that it will clear a grain cart. Um, I can grab one really fast to test this out. 
we'll just do an Ertl JM cart and it'll clear that. Um, don't know if it'll clear the big spec cast carts, but it does clear this smaller cart. So that is good. Um, I know the older ones had problems with that in the past. As far as um, the tires go, we get these bigger tires that they put on the back of a lot of their combines, on the John Deere combines. Um, I think they look a little too big. The rims look a little bigger than they need to be. Um, and I'm not the biggest fan of them, but they are all right. Front tires, I do like these floaters. These are more of what they normally put on the Case and New Holland um, combines when they go with singles. And they look a lot better than what they normally put on the deer ones. And I think the reason they had to do that is because the normal ones they put on like the S690, um, S790, S680 toys, it would be too tall for this. So I do like those front tires. Still, I'd prefer duels and we may custom this one. Nice deer logo there. That looks really sharp. And the lights are painted up above the cab. The roof of the cab is plastic, where these old ones, it was all part of the die cast, which I imagine they had to change that up when they retooled for this clear cab. Um, other than that, this is a new piece of plastic back here that is not on the old one, so it gives it more detail in the area of like your straw chopper and stuff and your spreader, so that looks nice. Um, engine and this area pretty much all the same as the old one. As you can see there, not a whole lot of detail in the grain tank. Uh, the stairs are the exact same, that plasticky, kind of weird looking stairs, so they didn't really change that any. Uh, our feeder house is a little different. Well, maybe not much. I think it's the same. It's just paint got a thicker coat of paint, so it's hard to see the detail, but a pretty good looking feeder house. It is fixed, so the feeder house does not raise or lower. Um, but if you put the header on here, it does allow the header to move. Um, so that's kind of where you get your movement from. Um, not the best, but it's better than none. Other than that, you know, not a whole lot here. Like I said, it's a retooling of an old toy, which I'm glad to see. I wish they'd do some more older combines and with some clear cab glass. I don't want to be too hard on this. I don't want to sound like I'm complaining too much because it is nice to get this toy. Um, and I'd love to see more of these combines that um, were originally made with the black cab glass being remade with some clear cab glass. But, um, oh, and I was going to show you this. The tires are quite a bit different than the old one. Um, so you can see the rear tires are a lot wider, front tires a little wider, um, and just a better looking tire on the new one over the old one. So definitely some improvement there. So anyways, that is what we got for you on the 9610 Maximizer. Uh, if you've got some of the older toys of this and you like this style combine, this would definitely be a good pickup. Um, it, it's fine just the way it is, or if you want to do some customization, it is a good starting point for some cool customizing. So thanks for watching. Hope this helps you out.